Hey everyone, welcome back to the Stosca Automation Playlist. And today we are going to discuss about another interesting feature which is available in Trascentis Tosca. So until now, we have been automating a lot of test cases in different applications, but these are mostly functional test cases, right? Which may be present in the form of manual test cases or some requirement document. But what about the test cases which are never written, okay? So Tosca allows you to also do some exploratory testing. Now, if you have not heard about exploratory testing, it is an approach to software testing where you do simultaneous learning, test design, and also execution. So there are no predefined test cases, okay, through which a tester can check the system, but they go and check the system on the fly, okay? So the focus of exploratory testing is to find bugs which will be missed in the regular manual testing right so this is a kind of ad hoc testing but it is not random testing so there are a lot of ways you can do exploratory testing and tosca also provides you with a whole feature through which you can perform this exploratory testing so let's see how we can do exploratory testing using tosca so to start with exploratory testing you need to go into the execution folder and when you expand this you will find a folder which is called exploratory testing okay so here uh, we have got different options we can create a exploratory session we can create a folder okay or we can import results file and import results from a session id okay but for now uh, we will be going ahead and creating a exploratory session okay so once you create this exploratory session there are lots of different things which are present here okay uh, like there are exploratory testers we can add number of testers who will be doing exploratory testing okay then uh, there are issue proposals uh, so we can link the scenario we can have a description we have the session schedule okay so it can be time boxed from some certain time to some certain time okay uh, that could be a admin who will be the session owner uh, then um, the session could be passed failed okay so the session status you can see it is in planned right now then the number of scenarios the duration the objects and also the email right so all of these different details can be filled uh, in an exploratory session but the most important part is to uh, create a session document right an exploratory session document and to do that we need to open the exploratory scenario manager okay and here you can record the interactions between your application and the user so on the top you will see there is exploratory scenario click on that okay and then it will ask you what kind of application you want to record your interactions and we will be working with the web application so we will choose chrome for now okay and then uh, i'll click on start and you will see that it will start recording the interactions okay now i can go ahead and perform some interactions with my application and that will be recorded okay so i'll click on uh, automobile here and i will fill some data here okay so in the background this will also get filled in the recording okay so let me fill this out okay and then i click on next so this is what i want to record for now so i will go here uh, and i will click on stop to stop the session and now that will create a particular scenario document okay so you can see here this is a, a media document where you have got images along with the interactions okay so you can see all the steps which i have performed are present on the left hand side in the form of scenario steps and then on the right hand side uh, the whole screen has been recorded okay also the interaction of the user is recorded so you can see there is an annotation called click on automobile okay so this step it says what you need to do it says click on the tracentis vehicle insurance and it also shows your image okay 
Similarly, uh, for a drop down, it will tell you to uh, click the drop down and then select that particular value, right? So you can see this is a very detailed document. And if you give it to a person who doesn't know what he needs to do, he can basically run through this document and perform the steps and then he can mark whether this test case has passed or failed, right? So this document can be useful in many ways. It could be used for exploratory testing. Also, it could be used as a document for a person who is very new to the team and he doesn't know more about the application. So you can provide him this document and then he can start following the steps to know more about the application. At the same time, he can also perform the steps and test out the application, right? Now this is uh, in Tosca. You can see this is the session. You can uh, save and close it, okay? So it will save it and you can go into the next session but you can also export this, okay? So you can see here, it can be exported in a docx and a PDF format. Obviously the PDF format is more preferred. And then uh, there are items like step and step values are included. You can also include extra columns, okay? So what is the actual result? Uh, what is the action mode, action property, right? Uh, the media is already included. Uh, and also the page setup okay so I can export this into a PDF once you click on that it will ask you where you want to export it okay so let's choose a folder here called training okay and click on ok now it will start exporting this whole session into a document and you can see a PDF document has been created and this is the scenario documentation you can see a lot of uh, things have been also added in this documentation apart from what was recorded. Okay, so there is a summary with name, uh, overall result, number of failed steps, okay, number of steps. And then uh, there is the scenario description with all the different steps mentioned here, right? Also, it has got a media link. You can see here, these are the screenshots, okay? And you can see once you go through this uh, screenshot, it will just look like a video with all the different steps uh, one by one, right? How you have interacted with the application in the same way. At the end, it will also include the system information, okay? So with the operating system um, and then the screen resolution uh, and all the other details of the system. This could be useful sometimes uh, when you are testing or you when you are trying to reproduce a particular issue, right? And also uh, the recorded applications with its version, right? So you can see this kind of document is pretty useful if you are doing some exploratory testing or even if you are reporting any issue and you can record this interactions, give it to a developer or a business analyst, you can have some questions uh, from the business analyst, right? So a lot of things can be done with this document. And it's a really good way of uh, creating some documentation around your testing, right? So Tracentis Tosca automatically does it. And this could be useful in many different ways as we discussed. So that's an overview of uh, how exploratory testing can be done in Tosca. There are lots of other options uh, which uh, we'll discuss later, but this is the basic idea of how you can record or uh, interactions between your application and the user and then create uh, a document and this document can be exported into a PDF. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new today. Keep watching our videos and do subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any new videos which we post on a regular basis. So until the next video, Keep watching and keep learning Tosca.